So here is my page all set up. And to start, what we want to do is this makes it kind of easy because we're going to be drawing a one to one ratio. So we're going to be drawing these objects exactly the same size as they are onto this page because the pages are the same size. I have a little white border, which I'm going to kind of ignore when I do my measurements. So this might be slightly different sizes, but overall, for the most part, it's going to be pretty much the same size uh, as the picture my drawing will be. So first, in order to get this divided up and to start laying out my objects, I'm going to measure the page and this page I know is 11 inches. So at the five and a half mark. I am going to top and bottom just align that up so I can get a nice straight line and I'm going to do the same. Horizontally and this is eight and a half by 11 paper, so um, it's going to be at four and a quarter pretty much. So I'm going to be because these are the same size, there's some shortcuts we can take when we do this. And one of them is <laughs> I can measure it again or I can just go off the side of the page here with my measurement and I can set my paper. Right here. And now I don't have to measure again. So I'm dividing up my page so I can make sure that my objects are exact and fall exactly into the frame where they need to. So now basically that I have my page divided, I can start laying out my objects. So we are going to start. We're going to ignore everything except for the one point box. Now the one point box, all I'm going to draw is this rectangle. So you want to look and find your rectangle or your square that's facing you for this part. So ignore all of the rest. So I need to be drawing this. This rectangle and only this rectangle. So I want to put it right on this page where it is on this page. So I can measure or I can use a sighting stick. So sometimes instead of measuring, I just kind of use my finger and the stick and go, OK, well, the edge goes from the middle line. This is why we have the middle line so we can gauge that rate. It's about probably a half inch so I can go over here and I can mark it. OK, and then this looks like it's I don't know. It's a little bit crooked, but it's like a quarter of an inch from the middle line. I may kind of straighten that a little. OK, so I just measured this width and this width and mark those on here. And then let's measure how far from the middle or from the bottom that bottom edge is. So about that far. I'm going to ignore the white lines. So I'm going to go up past it. So about that far from the bottom. Now you can also, oops, I need to go here. You can also go and use your ruler as well. So there, and then I have to find this edge. So this edge is about that far from the middle. OK, and now I'm going to use my ruler so I could have just measured as well. So I'm going to lay out that one point box. And it should fall exactly. Where I measured, so I have to go down here. So my other line is a little tall there. That's OK. This line goes all the way to here. Now we're drawing really dark and you're going to have a lot of random lines like this crosshair and then some of our vanishing points in our horizon line. So it's OK if later we're going to trace this onto better paper. So don't worry about drawing light. It's nice to be able to see this. So then I can kind of compare. Sometimes I have to adjust. It's a little over two inches. That's about right. And then sometimes it looks more out of proportion. Yeah, looks good because I'm missing this top edge right now. I'm not drawing that in. I'm just drawing the front of the box. So you're just going to make sure that's placed in the right spot. 